Maureen Savaro works closely with the Virginia Tech Entomology Department to create 3D models of bugs. The process is called photogrammetry. It involves taking hundreds of photos from every possible angle to create a vivid 3D image. And we started to really get some momentum with the entomology department. They were really, really interested and because um, otherwise their specimens are just kind of sitting in boxes forever. So we wanted to find a way to make them accessible online. The models were a big hit at last year's Hokie Bug Fest and they're back for a second year. Normally, these exhibits take up three floors here at Squire's Student Center, and the event even spills out onto College Avenue. This year, it will all be online. The event that attracts thousands of children every year is a 10-day virtual event on HokieBugFest.com from October 7th to 17th. I think what's going to happen is that we are going to discover a lot of new ways and new features of BugFest that we will continue. Even when we go live in the future, I think there's going to be several things that we do this year that are going to be highly successful that we're not going to, we're not going to want to let go of. Going online allows the BugFest to expand beyond the New River Valley. We got an entry from Brazil, which was bizarre. It was a Lego bug, but it was from, um, yeah, it that was amazing. I mean, I looked it up and I'm like, how did they find out? So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Reporting for the news feed, I'm Evan McNally.